Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. With the rollout of the latest Patch Tuesday cumulative updates for both Windows 10 and 11, which rolled out on the 8th of March, Microsoft also pushed out their reliability update for the Windows service components that improves the reliability of the Windows update service components, KB4023057, which they do push out to both Windows 10 and 11 on a regular basis. And I have posted numerous videos on 4023057 on this channel previously. Now, this, as mentioned, this update is available for both Windows 10 and 11, where you can just go to your Windows update in both those operating systems where you will find the update. And it's an automatic update, which will be downloaded and installed automatically. And it's a very small update and literally will take a couple of seconds to be installed. And also just note that you cannot uninstall KB4023057. And once it's installed, you can just go to view update history where you'll see update for Windows 10. And that's also 11 KB4023057. And yeah, you will also see, as mentioned, Microsoft does push this out on a regular basis. And yeah, it was also installed in February and I can go down the list and you'll see basically every month, more or less, Microsoft pushes out that update. Now, Microsoft describes this update um, as the update includes files and resources that address issues that affect the update process in Windows 10 and 11 that may prevent important Windows updates from being installed. So basically what it does is it prepares your PC for future Windows updates and also feature updates. Now with KB4023057, it does install a little tool called Microsoft Update Health Tools, which if you go to your settings, your apps, apps and features list, you will see a little uh, 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 app and tool called Microsoft Update Health Tools, which gets installed with 4023057. And also when the update uh, rolls out every time, that little health tool also gets updated. And that is responsible for a couple of things. And what it may try to do, if it does detect any issues on your system, it may try to reset network settings if problems are detected. And it will clean up registry keys that may be preventing updates from being installed successfully. Uh, it will also uh, try to repair disabled or corrupted Windows operating system components. And it also will try to compress files in your user profile directory to help free up enough disk space to install important updates. And the last thing it may try to do if it detects any problems, it may try to reset the Windows update database to repair the problems that could prevent updates from being installed successfully. So basically it just prepares your computer. If it, de if it detects any problems, it will try to resolve those and prepare your PC for upcoming uh, Windows updates and feature updates. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.